talk some more about the session underway here. All right, so obviously the highlight for Bulls here, Renita, is Instacart going off without any major problems, right? Mm hmm absolutely. So the excitement, though, Although it's still there, it has faded just a little bit from the morning because the stock opened up above its IPO price at about $42 a share. The IPO price was 30. And so that $42 a share meant that the valuation of the company was somewhere around $14 billion. And since it's given up some of those gains since then, it's valued at somewhere between the initial $10 billion and $14 billion valuation. This company, still pretty exciting, up more than 23% above its IPO price. And it was a pandemic, darling. That's something that people remember. But back then, at the height of the pandemic in 2021, when the company wanted to go public, it was valued at $39 billion at $125 a share. So this is a far cry away from that. But the company had to drop the price because they wanted to make it more accessible to public markets. And of course, even though it's not trading around that number, it is still a big boost for the IPO market because inflationary pressures, rising interest rates, it sent investors away from riskier assets. And this is another boost coming weeks after Kava and just a week after the IPO of Arm, which happened last week down another 5% today. Mm -hmm. So it's good that uh, they're being absorbed day one, but how far does day one take us, Cab, if investors are quick to sell the rip on these like they're doing an arm, uh, basically two and a half days straight? Well, after the euphoria of the IPO and the return of the IPO in the last few days, a little bit of reality setting in, Oliver, as the trading world starts to look at valuation here and realize that, you know, ARM is a great stock, but it's not NVIDIA. I mean, ARM is not as influential in AI as NVIDIA is. ARM has got an incredible valuation and it's incredible price to sales that it just doesn't have the fundamentals to keep up. But there's a lot of enthusiasm about it but boy Oliver the valuations are just uh, lofty to, to put it nicely you know this market is uh, it, it almost seems Oliver for the last two days or day and three quarters that those two IPOs have sucked all the all the oxygen hmm. out of everything else that that we, we we thought about trading now we wait for tomorrow tomorrow's the big day when we get kind of a roadmap for the end of the year and into early next year, and at least up to November. But it almost seems like these two IPOs, Arm, Arm and, and Instacart, have kind of distracted us from what we maybe should be paying attention to, which is valuations and these AI stocks that have run a long way seem a little bit fatigued up here again. I'm using that word a lot, it seems, lately on the air, Oliver, <laughs> fatigued. Yeah. Because this market, frankly, looks a little weary up here, and it's lacking that next bit of inertia to go higher. What will it be? Might be a friendly Jerome Powell, a, a, you know, a market-friendly Jerome Powell, which he has shown a, a propensity to be. But um, with yields where they are, with the dollar where it is, where crude oil where it is right now, even though crude oil moving off those severely overbought levels, uh, this, you know, this is still a market looking at some fundamentals here, some macro fundamentals that are working against stocks, Oliver. Indeed, well said. Uh, challenging some of those macro fundamentals. And uh, to yeah. your point, I like the oxygen description too. Kind of seems like the demand for the IPOs has taken some of the oxygen away from some of the other uh, risk uh, assets out there. NVIDIA is just kind of, uh, you know, slumping along down another percent today. The other thing, too, is that to the point about valuations, we're already kind of seeing uh, the analyst response being a little bit more 
mixed. Yesterday, we talked about how ARM got its first to sell rating, essentially with an underperform. And then today, the only note that I think is interesting is the one saying it's a neutral, uh, Renita. So it's not exactly like roaring fanfare, actually. That might be the most accurate description I've heard about this one, because this stock, of course, it opened above its IPO price, around 25% above it. And today, we see it trading at just around that opening price. But it's falling. It's been falling for the past three sessions, ARM. It started to fall the day after the IPO. And one analyst says that it has dropped about $8 billion in market value in just three days. Mm, yeah, wow. So it's uh, already lost pretty healthy chunk there. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you love it, then you're going to be happy to see it drop. You know, if you loved it, if you liked it at 60, you're going to love it. Uh, 55, mm -hmm. you liked it at 70, it's a dream down here. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess uh, some perspective there. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Uh, Kevin Hanks, Renita Young.